So the Blackfish is an organization that really sort of got started by some people that are already working on ocean conservation issues. And a lot of us really felt that we needed to take initiative to start taking action closer to where we lived. And one of the issues that we start campaigning on first was a dolphinarium in Germany, in Münster. And four dolphins were kept there in really quite appalling conditions. And uh, we worked with two organizations there for the last, in the last few months. And we managed to get the owner to agree to rehome the dolphins in, in, in 2012. And really that sort of got us thinking about setting up a more kind of solid structure, a solid organization that really focused on some key issues, specifically in Europe, to really try and first of all get ocean conservation back on the agenda into the public domain, really in the public debate, and also really to try and take some direct action to really stop some of the most destructive industries and operations that threaten the, uh, the ocean wildlife. Sea Shepherd really is the kind of place where a lot of us met and where a lot of us have been inspired to take this kind of action. Uh, Paul Watson is someone that, of course, has been at the forefront of, of, of direct action to protect ocean life for many, many years, for over 30 years. And really, a lot of us have sailed on the, on the ships, of, ships of Sea Shepherd and really, you know, um, we have now set up a different organization and we are going our own, we're heading our own direction. But it's very, you know, for us, it's very clear that Paul Watson has inspired us really to, to commit fully to, um, to ocean conservation and, and to kind of a, a direct and interventionist kind of approach uh, to that. The difference in direction with Sea Shepherd, all it really means is that we just focus on campaigns in Europe. Um, I don't think really you know, our, uh, our objectives and aims differ so much. It, what it's mainly about is, is the fact that we just feel that in Europe things are really going the wrong way and what is needed is an European organization set up by European people and run by, uh, you know, with local groups in Europe, uh, funded by European money that really focuses on, on a few key issues in Europe. And uh, those issues are around whaling. Uh, at the moment in Europe, uh, a lot of the whaling quotas are increasing. For example, Iceland um, opened commercial whaling about four years ago and they had five endangered fin whales on the quota and that was a big outcry at the time. Well, this year, the quota has risen to 150 endangered fin whales. This is three times the endangered fin whale quota that Japan has in, in the Antarctic. So really, what, you know, we need to have people that focus specifically on Europe and take action on whaling. The second issue is uh, industrial fishing. At the moment, the Mediterranean Sea is plagued by illegal fishing. Uh, bluefin tuna is near extinction in this area. Also, a lot of the Dutch, English, Scottish, uh, Icelandic... Uh, Norwegian uh, fishing fleets are going into, uh, well, previously in the North Sea, but more and more into the into the Atlantic, uh, and it's huge and huge fishing operations that are very damaging to the ecosystem. So this is something we also want to focus on, and and last but not least is um, the dolphinarium uh, trade and the captivity trade that's really getting a lot bigger in Europe. In in some countries, such as in the United Kingdom, dolphinariums are banned, but in other countries, such as uh, Turkey and Greece, uh, new dolphin areas are being built. So there's really, you know, within Europe, w we really want to push for um, for more change towards the public's thinking about dolphin areas um, and also about the captivity trade that's uh, associated with it. A lot of the animals that uh, are in dolphin areas have to come from somewhere, and a lot of these animals are caught in the wild. Um, Taji and the Caribbean uh, are, for example, two places where a lot of the dolphinariums in Europe have originally got their animals from. And some new dolphinariums, for example, in Egypt, that uh, there are some dolphins there that have come from Tarji. So really, um, Tarji in Japan is one of the places uh, that runs a dolphin drive hunt. About 2,000 animals are killed there every year. But some of these animals are selected and kept in separate pens and then are traded uh, for the international uh, uh, dolphinarium uh, kind of trade. So basically, there is a very clear link in animals being taken from the wild in different places and them ending up uh, to uh, entertain humans uh, for the rest of their lives in marine parks such as SeaWorld and dolphinariums uh, around Europe.